Hi folks, how you doing? Well, I was going to do a vlog uh, for about Alton Towers uh, on the TJ Maximo um, because it was my son's birthday and we went talking to Alton Towers uh, for the day. It was an absolute washout. It was, it was the wettest uh, I think I've ever been outside in my entire life. Uh, it was crazy. And so I didn't really want to get the camera out uh, every 10 minutes to film various things this that, and the other it got so bad that towards the end of the day they started closing down the rides because of the rain um i mean my son and his friend got to go on all the rides they wanted to go on so they were very happy and it was really cool um but it led to something that i never really thought about before when i used a mobility scooter as you'll see from the footage um and I never thought of it like this, and it's just logical, really. When you use a mobility scooter, you're sitting down, okay? And obviously, if you walk around, you're standing up. Well, if you're walking around, you've got a coat on. The rain kind of hits your coat, and it kind of bounces off, and that's it. When you're sitting down on a scooter, your trousers are exposed. So you get absolutely soaking wet. <laughs> and within no time at all, it looks like you've peed yourself, which is never a good look, especially if you're wearing beige trousers like I was wearing. After about half an hour, I was literally soaked through to my boxer shorts. It was so bad that when we drove home, I had to take my trousers off and I had to drive back in my pants, basically, <laughs> with a picnic blanket out of the boot of the car wrapped around me like some kind of makeshift kilt. I've not put any footage of that on or photos of that because no one needs to see me semi-naked with a blanket wrapped around me. <laughs> oh, dear. So it made me think, right, about using a mobility scooter in the rain. I don't particularly want to have one of those big tent things on that looks like some kind of, I don't know, Pope Mobile mobility scooter. That's not my style at all. And so, note to self, if you're going to go somewhere and it's going to be absolutely chucking it down, like it was the other day for me, wear some waterproofs or take a poncho or do something because... I have never been so wet in all my life unless it's been swimming. That's how wet I was. <laughs> right, folks. I'm sh sorry it's a quick one. I'm sorry it's not loads of cool footage of me going around Alton Towers and going on rides and stuff. But it was so wet. It was so wet it was untrue. And I'm actually surprised that uh, my son, Seth, he, he got to actually go on all the rides he wanted to. In fact, he got to go on them all. So he, he was really, I was really happy about that. Uh, and thankfully, he because we got there early, he managed to get everything in before they started closing rides down. So that was cool. <laughs> and to be fair, because it was raining, they were all a little bit faster. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi folks, how you doing? You can probably see how bad this rain is. It's shocking. Look at look at people's plots. Look at it. Look at the look at the water I'm walking through. It is absolutely sopping wet. And I'm not looking forward to finding out what the state of the chickens are in. We've had some shocking amount of water come down. In fact, I would go as far to say I've not known the allotment this wet in a long time. They've got ponds overflowing over there. Oh, check this out here. Look at that. Oh my God, look at this. This just shows, oh, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm about six inches deep in water here. I'm gonna stand on a rock. And the worst part of it is, I couldn't find my wellies today. I, I don't know where they are. So I've got my trainers on. They're my old, well not my old trainers, but they're my allotment trainers. But I've got to come down and do the chickens. So it is what it is. Look at it, absolute state of it. Oh. My 
God. I've never seen it this bad. Oh my God. Jesus, look at this. My slabs are actually underwater. My Jesus Christ. It's it's almost up over my shed. Crikey. I've, excuse me, I've never seen it this bad ever. Never ever this bad. I have to get some pallets. I have to do a good job I put these slabs down. Look at it. It's almost up to the shed door. Oh my god, look at that. Oh dear me, right. to sort this out aren't we? Hang on girlies. Have to put the camera down and, and get to work because I can't leave them like this. Oh my god my neighbours plot I can't believe it. Shh. Sorry for the language but they've got a little fence around their pond and that fence that fence is about two foot high and that fence is underwater. Crikey!